Welcome to the other side of Polybridge, where I build bridges not to shave every dollar possible and endanger the lives of those crossing, but instead to protect the lives of those crossing by creating a strong, sturdy, and structurally sound bridge in hopes to climb the low stress leaderboard. In other words, how can I make the safest bridge possible? Well, for starters, I've installed the mod that actually keeps track of the most stressed parts of each bridge. I'll be using that to try to climb the leaderboard for now. I'm about where everyone else is on the leaderboard because we all built exactly the same bridge. Let's see if I can pump those numbers up. It shows the maximum stress and well, obviously it's right here in the middle. So I could do a simple thing where I kind of replace that one wood with a wood muscle. Now, is that what I'm gonna do? No, most likely I'm gonna redesign, but I just wanna see what happens when this uh, switches. As you can see, it doesn't get among the most stressed anymore, and that should bring it down a lot. Yeah, to 410th place at top 1%. Now I'm gonna keep it honest, top 1% is my goal. However, top 1% was too easy, so maybe top 100 could be a better goal. And now I can see the sides of the bridge are suffering, so I wonder if I could benefit from doing some sort of under over under. I have a low support here, a wood muscle going to this joint, and then the same thing on the other side. Is that better? Well, it's less stress now, but let's see how it goes when the vehicle drives over. It seems a lot better already. 20% stress. 233rd. Now, the muscle itself is still very stressed, so how about I add another part to it? More wood propping this up, because, I mean, let's be real, it's all I can do in this level. I guess I could add roads, and road are, roads are good at compression, which is something I'll try if this fails, but I have to be careful. I can't be going over budget. Because, well, it doesn't get counted on the leaderboard if I go over budget. And here, it looks better. 18.41%, top 148. I gotta shave a full percent of stress if I want top 100. In fact, the single most stressed pieces are actually dangling from the static joint. What if I have, like, another piece coming from the static joint then? Oh no, it's expensive. Sounds like I may have to save a little money on top. It's not ideal, but it already looks a lot better. Oh yeah, okay, much better distributed. In fact, the worst part was actually the left side now. Look at how much worse this left side is. Left side I bet could have a makeover. Maybe go full under support. Just an under muscle pushing into this. Saving me money too, that'd be nice if it actually saves a lot of money. Oh, that looks so much better, 15% at its peak. This mod is really nice for keeping track of stuff. 59th, damn, that's a good bridge. Top 100 is a good goal, but I want to dominate the leaderboard for all the bridges and hopefully learn some stuff along the way. Another road and wood level, but a longer gap. For a bridge like this, I think again the under over under is the move. I'm not sure the best way to do so. Like I'm almost thinking I want a link of wooden muscles like this, who's then held in by wood rope. It does have to dangle though, but maybe the wood rope would actually be more of an X? I don't know, that part's a little questionable to me. Right now, I just want to kind of set up an overtruss, under, over, under. Complete could be more expensive. It's a shame this doesn't reach. What if I attach it to here? Just kind of make it a bit more rigid and see if that's helpful. Well, right now, most of the unders are pretty stressed, but honestly, not that stressed. <laughs> 30 second already. My first attempt. Seems like I've got a good grasp for a solid bridge. How about I find a level that's a little different? Well, actually, this one could be very different because hypothetically, the rock is still a really solid support. Like if the road itself rests on the rock, that's genuinely powerful and definitely less expensive than using other ways of supporting. I definitely still need a good under support here and I think I'm willing to take it low. I can do a road connection here since road is good at compression, but then also go to the wood muscle. I'll balance that out later. Just gotta bring home the top support which I'm not sure is a good idea. Actually, can I mirror this? Yeah, I can. I guess I can mirror all of it. Let's see just right now what gets stressed. Uh, they went by fast, but it was definitely the sides. This is only top 3%, so clearly a lot of people are hanging out around here. What's wrong here? It's the roads themselves, specifically the left side ones. Analyzing this bridge more closely, the left side doesn't actually get that stressed until something happens on the right side. Would I be better off actually connecting these pieces? Trying to get rid of some of the forces. Well, it's stressed in the middle, so something's weird here. Something's really weird here. Interesting, I definitely didn't expect that. If I take these roads, move them in a bit, maybe so the rock is supporting them better. 
So yeah, get the roads in tension. Okay, it held up better now. It now brought the stress to the right side, but it is an improvement. Top 1%, let's go for top 100. Feeling in general that the right side is just struggling. I think this would call for a road muscle here. It's the most stressed thing. Let's see if that at least helps a little bit. It is heavier, which is an issue. I'm just keeping an eye on it, but it gets straight up way more stressed, way, way more stressed. That's never the answer. Instead, I'd find better luck by just putting more supports in the general direction that I want to. Already, that seems to be an improvement, and I would be right to assume so, but now we got the top corners of both sides, I guess, looking bad. Almost top 500. Well, how about I try an extra just support on top? Just more truss. So, I mean, it'll probably divert the stress throughout itself. And that seemed better. 40%. Yeah, climbing a little bit. Bringing more stress to the left side, but honestly, if the right side was improved with more trust, then the left side will as well. But it is more expensive. And now I gotta figure out where I can save money. Well, I could probably lower the trusses on the inside. Maybe arch it a bit. Maybe arch it on the edges as well. Take this node, bring it up. whoop de doo under budget. Does that help? Oh, tremendously. I did see a 38 though, but that was on a, what I thought was a stabilizer. A, a 43? Oh, on the arch. Oh, some of the arches that I lowered were a big mistake. Okay, well, I'll have to raise those up. You know, maybe I can go back to just a normal muscle since the bottom seems to be less stressed. But I may regret those words if I'm not careful. View it at half speed so we can see it all happen in real time. Oh, I think it flashed pretty bad. So it's all the interior. Okay, well, it could just be improved with a higher truss, but this is all the money I have to raise it, so I doubt it'll actually help that much. Oh, possibly better though. Is that 37 max? Very nice. Okay, closing it on top 100. It's still the center, specifically the right side. Now, no expert, but I imagine having an additional reinforcement like this would definitely help out the side. This is, in fact, another muscle with a friend, yes, and an expensive one. So I wonder how necessary it is. I can lower the cost here. How about I take a look at this? Slow motion, see if that at least improves things. I mean, left side's looking wonderful. 30% max. Middle gets a little bit worse, but now the right side, let's just see if it's worth it at all. Oh, it is significantly worth it. Okay, this is worth trying to figure out how I can save 360 on. This could probably be lowered. I could still probably raise the node a little bit and then test it. And I want to make sure I'm not fully off course here. 31% is tolerable. Uh, the middle is still equally valid. 34% on that piece. Well, no matter. 34% is good. It's in tension. It makes sense. So left side can definitely be made cheaper because it's not the stress side. You got to be careful with lowering, lowering it because it might become the stress side, but I might be able to kind of equalize it. If both sides are equally stressed, it's equally good for the leaderboard. Yeah, 33 on that is really good, and I'm seeing 34 is max otherwise. 34, almost top 100. Ooh, I need to shave off another 2%. That's all on the right side. A little on the left side, actually. So I wonder how much of it is like just incidental. Like if I take this node, almost make a more complete arch, is the same piece still gonna be stressed? Less so, actually. Now it's just the dangler. Yeah, now it's just this. Which I don't know, does that get better if I move the node up or does it get worse? Okay, it actually brings more stress up top. I could take these pieces, move them up. Okay, basically just under budget. See if that helps. And they do get only a little stressed. 32. I'm actually seeing the left side being worse right now. Almost top 100. I've made this a bit worse, so I would have to bump this out, but now it's a bit more expensive. Probably help by taking this muscle moving inwards a bit. It's kind of weirdly bumped out. Maybe take this piece, bump it down a little, see if that changes things positively. It positively changed them for the worse. Brought it all onto this one piece. So back it up. Let me try here. Does that still stress it? Yes, it does. Back it up. And is it still looking bad? No, it's better numbers. All around, it's just expensive now. Well, how about the left side truss? Maybe I can just lower it enough. And if it comes stressed but not too stressed, I'm happy. I have to worry about that road on the left side, though. 33.55. That's a big loser, right? But what if I kept up the one that's next to the road and lowered the one that's far from the road? I don't suspect that actually helping things, but it somehow has. 
Oh, ooh, we're seeing low 32% right now with that. That's gotta be top 100. 80 second, beautiful. Is this a low stress bridge here, out of curiosity? A 16% we can see. Oh, he kept the road straight and just really used the rock. All the muscular supports. I was on the right track by attaching the muscle to the anchor on each of the sides like that. Just on a different bridge, not this one. Next, my first one was steel. It is quite good at getting low stress. I'm gonna have to rebuild this. I don't have any wood at all. So I'm trying to think of how many pieces of steel I want in the very middle. Do this much steel in the middle and then have the sides be like steel muscles or something. Maybe I'll try like a very basic steel support here. Let this go as low as I can. Bump this out as much as it'll let me. You know what? Then make it a full on muscle just to ensure that it's as good as it can be. Actually, this steel dangler I could probably double as a extra support here copy paste see that i'm like exactly on budget and what goes wrong well all in all it's looking really good so far but it is steel and it is the top that gets the worst of it huh nice i mean i should just leave it as is this looks like a low stress one yeah 20.57 percent stress just a lot more steel muscles but it's not that different from my design just more on top than i suspected i've got a knack for it this one, okay, wood and steel now. So I wonder if I could take inspiration from a previous uh, solution that I saw and use a lot of the rock in conjunction with the straight road, or at least like the anchor in the middle. I mean, this is just begging to be steeled up. And I mean, this is just begging to be supported with steel here. The rest though, I'm not sure what the best way to go about it is. I want something big and tall here. And then maybe I'll do more under supports. I don't know. I, I don't like this over support right now. I just think it's bad. I'm thinking maybe another rock support could be good. And then trying to do some sort of support like this, or just take advantage of going under, but this can go much lower. This can be bumped out much more. This feels like it takes better advantage of the medium. Then I probably could go as far as to just attach all of this. A little expensive. I don't like this wood support right now. I'm just going to go steel. I wonder if these need to be steel. Right now, they're just stabilizers. I'll try wood rope. If I do admit it could spell disaster. Well, right now, it is not the wood rope, in fact. It is the roads themselves that get the most stressed. Top 1%, but definitely can do better. A lot of the roads themselves. And this one steel here, which is admittedly at a bad angle. I wonder if I would be better off something more balanced here. Well, yes, at least it helps out that one portion. It just makes the rest worse. Wait. Oh, this wood it gets the worst of it. Well, that's actually an easy fix. That could be a steel. Everything else was fine except for that wood. You notice that? Like, nothing else got high. And I'm under 30%. Top 200. Now we're back to looking at roads. The road gets better if this node goes down. However, this is expensive. Yeah, it is. And then there's also the nodes in the middle. Hmm. Yeah, no, I'm starting to think this is a little inefficient. What if I do an above support, even going as far as to just raising this up as high as it'll let me? How does that work with budget right now? Okay, so I see where it goes bad. It's only minorly bad. This could be a steal. This could be a steal. And then we have the wood rope, which I think can also be a steel, and then moved in a little bit just to stay under budget. Now, is it still bad in the road? It is, but only 30% bad, which is not good. <laughs> it's just straight up not ideal. All right, let me see something. Can I just remove this steel piece and have everything still be fine? Puts a little bit more stress on the road, but notice not much else changed. This money could actually help me afford maybe some over supports. Or not, but I'm not giving up on it yet. Well, I wonder then if I could just get rid of some of this and just let over supports do their job. Yes. Uh, no, no, it puts a lot of stress on the road. Damn you road. I guess the road would be better if I did something more like this. Is that so? Yeah, it would be. It would be much better. And I could do something very similar here. Just a full steel truss instead of skipping over parts that I deem to be unnecessary for the truss. It's all necessary. And it pays off greatly, I think. Yeah, full percent. Drop it on the leaderboard now. And now the left side is the shining example of a good bridge. Guess that means the right side can follow in its footsteps. This is actually quite cheap. I'm just gonna max out the size of this truss right now. 
And we'll see what problems it may cause. Well, okay, looking pretty terrible in two pieces. This one and this one. A little expensive, let's bring them in. Now, maybe take it slow. Left side's looking fantastic. Right side is... Oh, finally fixed. Is that 25% overall? Oh, it is almost top 100. Wait, top 100 is really close. Wait, everyone got this 25.83% design. Is there just a really simple design I missed? If I can get in front of that, I've climbed it massively. So let's see, what's the most stressed? It's the road again, but the road gets better if I raise the truss, right? Hope so. Let's see if that's the case. Yeah, so far. Please tell me I did it. No, what got stressed? This steel piece. Now, this is a generally easy one to fix if I have the money, because you can just reinforce it. Now, can I reinforce my wallet? Well, I wonder if I can go back to wood supports on the side or if that makes it worse. Oh, okay, the wood is excellent. The stabilizers are nice. I mean, each of these parts that are attached to the three steel do not seem to undergo that much stress, but one of these times is gonna make it much worse. That isn't the time. Okay, I lowered it under budget. Let's take it really slow. Left side gets a 24.6%, but what I just moved on the right side exceeds it, but only slightly. That's a good sign. 51st place, tied with 50th. I'll take it. Well, there's a 13.77, which looks demented. Why is there balanced wood here? How is this balanced? And how does this help the bridge? I think it's just extra spending to show that he doesn't need all his money. Wow, that is really impressive. Interesting that all the sports on the right side are actually slanted to the right. What can you learn from that? I don't know. This might be an interesting level. The road is required to not be straight. But ideally, I don't want the road to support the weight of the truck at all. I also think it would be at my advantage for it to jump. I don't know, like, the best angle of the road that I should have in the second half. I have eight steel. Very limited. We gotta make use of every single piece. I figure that having the main skeleton be steel is a good idea. There you go. Steel here, steel here, and steel here. And then I'm out. Just kind of stabilize this a little. All right, what's the issue with this bridge? Well, right now it's not that stressed, but there's no vehicles on it. It actually continues to still be quite good. It is, okay, it's actually a steel that takes the most of it until we get to the right side, which then that's taken over by the wood. Jumping off does prove to be good because nothing bad happens after it's halfway off. And that's not a good stress amount. Okay, let me try something. Let me go for a road support here because I have an extra steel now and see where I actually need and don't need steel. This seems like it's necessary steel. This seems like it's necessary steel. Maybe I can just balance it here. But then the bottom left steel, what I could do is remove it and bring it much, much lower and anchor it in with road like this. I got to make sure like the bottom shape is still convex. I just don't like how that initially starts off stressed and now only gets worse as it goes on. Like, significantly worse. I think it's borderline breaking. Let me see, if this were wood, would that change anything? No, it doesn't. Just because of the steel here? If I do like a second steel support like this, does that help? Yeah, actually, that does help a lot. So I think it was the steel connection from the anchor point, the top left. Already... Mmm, still pretty bad, 50%. Don't like it. So I'm learning that this is just bad. Here, I almost want to bring the roads down in hopes that I could just bring more stress onto the steel itself. This is stressed, it'll become a steel. This steel could go lower. Already seems better, but keep an eye on those roads. 48%, a lot of stress on that road, but it is an improvement. Oh, but now it's two woods that take it. If I had one more steel, this would be a perfect time for it. Maybe I don't need this steel now. Four steel per side. The roads, they hate living. Oh, here? Ooh, maybe crack the code. Equally balanced on both sides. Most stressed is actually this road which isn't meant to be driven on. And it stays that way. That's gotta be a big jump. Top 1%. Would love to do better. Worst being a wood. I'm gonna try some different angles for it just to see if that makes it worse or better. Um, okay, more vertical is better here. That's enough to give me a 603rd below Ronald McDonald. 
I mean, that's just embarrassing. Okay, and the most stress on this road. I could try a wood muscle. Stronger than a road, and I definitely have the money to spend. Oh, yeah. Okay, what got bad now? Something on the left. 454th. Oh, no, it's this wood in the middle. Well, you know what? This can be a wood muscle quite easily. I still have $6,000 to spend, so I'm getting ready to spend it. Although, it looked like road was the worst of it now. Oh, 135th. How long to top 100? Half a percent only. So it's just this road in the middle. What if I just truss it then? Bring strength to the piece. Hopefully divert the stress over to the woods. I mean, that seems significantly better. Top 100, hell yeah. Let me at least spend my money. What can be improved? Left side, okay, awesome. This wood can be a wood muscle. 30.91%, top 50. I'm happy enough with this bridge, no doubt. It's a uh, top 50, so. Cool. Honestly, this part of the leaderboard could use a little more competition. Maybe this video will light a fire under some people's asses, make some low stress bridges, give me good competition. So, thank you all for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. More bridges coming in the future. Have a wonderful day and peace.